Hey guys, what's up? It's Dustin Mankin. Time for another Excite Vlog. And uh, the reason I'm doing so many vlogs lately, if you haven't noticed, my nose is still messed up. So I don't really want to narrate anything with that messed up nose. So vlogs it is for now. Today I am in Fukuoka. And we are going to be just randomly walking around and looking for stuff. I do have plans to go to two up garages. And I will show a little bit of that in this video. On top of that, there is the auto collection Fukuoka going on at the Fukuoka Dome. But it's mainly like a new model showcase. I don't really think that's anything I'm interested in. But if I find something cool, or if I don't find something cool actually, we might pop in there and see if we can get some footage. That's something you don't see too often in Japan. A Mitsubishi Eclipse Spider left-hand drive and all. I did show one back at the parking garage of the 2017 Fukuoka Custom Car Show. Scratch that, that was actually not a third gen, that was a second gen that they had. So, uh, completely different car. So that is the first third gen Spider that I have seen. And that is a total of two Mitsubishi Eclipses that I have seen since I've been in Japan. According to Google Maps, up garage is about 14 kilometers away we are definitely going to take a train for that one because i'm planning on walking a lot today but i'm not walking 14 kilometers to the first place that's not going to happen <laughs> nissan dealer doing some service on some vanilla cars it's such a shame you don't see anything cool at the dealerships anymore. Uh, but Nissan really only has the 370Z and the GTR now, even though Nismo makes Aero for almost every model in their lineup, including the Leaf. Autobahn Blitz, but it has nothing to do with cars. It's a pachinko parlor. What is that over there out in the wild? Let's go take a look. S14 Navon Sylvia. Wow, I didn't know you could find some things that stock still. Like everybody has probably modified them, put them in the walls several times. So that's really awesome. We made it to the station. Let's get on this train and let's get to Up Garage. I just got off the train and I had to find a place to eat my lunch real fast and I had to kick it off with one of these ramen tamago onigiri. You know I love these. But the main star of this show is this torori cheese chicken, which uh, torori means like it, you know, like it stretches out. So they usually use torori when there's a lot of cheese because, you know, just imagine a pizza commercial when they're pulling that slice and that cheese just stretching. And that's kind of what that word symbolizes. So this is a cheese chicken, and a torori means it should be not like a Parmesan or something, but actually like a, a melty cheese, I, I hope. Mm. You can see right there, there's like a little slice of cheese, and it's a chicken breast, so uh, I think there's a little bit less cheese because it's supposed to be like a, a healthy type of thing, but anyways. That's my lunch. Then I got some green tea too, but you know what green tea in a bottle looks like. 
and of course we want to do the right thing and put our trash back into the uh, carrying bag because there's not a trash can for me to throw anything away. That is a really nice Jimny. I know it's not really a sports car, but the wife has a Jimny, so I really enjoy seeing like some cool off-road Jimnys. I mean, I'm from Kentucky, man. I, you can take me out of the woods, but you can't take the woods out of me. Like I'm a redneck through and through. So, cool spot. We must be in off-road country today because this Land Cruiser, <clears throat> This Land Cruiser is the second off-road vehicle that I have seen in like five minutes. And it's really awesome. And uh, I really like the snorkel that's on it. Uh, I don't know about in Fukuoka where they go off-roading, but where I live in Oita, there are a lot of places where you can go off-roading and stuff. So uh, those cars are really popular where I'm at, but it always amazes me when we're in the city and we get to see something. Uh, I had a nice wood grain wheel and everything also. So uh, good spot. This place is called Automotive Parts AM Potsit, and uh, they do have some cars under covers here. And back there is an older car. I don't really know what kind of a car it is. It says Bentley on it, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that is not a Bentley. But uh, right here is an RX-7, like an FD. And uh, this is what really uh, caught my eye when I was walking past. I was like, oh, that's FD. And uh, you can see the mirrors are not in any position to be like, use this guy looks like it's been parked for a while it does have an aluminum gt wing on it and uh i don't know like some people still use those wings now but that kind of dates this car but uh, i'm gonna say that that is a really good find and i'm really glad that we spotted that i love fds i don't think i'll ever be able to own one because they fit about like an NA Roadster and that is not very good for me at six foot five, but love the car nonetheless. Good spot. And there she is, boys, up garage. I'm gonna have to go up this way real fast to get across the street. Slow down here, look at where I'm going instead of looking at the camera. And we are gonna be right there in just a second. There is nothing really in the parking lot of interest. I am going to go in and show you a few clips in this video from in here, but I'm going to actually make a different edit for this whole experience and you'll be able to check that out. If you have not subscribed yet, guys, now might be the time to go ahead and do that for yourself. Let's go in. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. I know we said we were going to go to the next up garage, but I might actually still do that tomorrow on the way home because it's accessible on the way home from the car. There goes the Japanese post. They all ride those little bikes. I'm sorry we didn't get to the other up garage, but we did have a really great time in this video. We spotted that S14 Nabon. Uh, we found a couple of off-road cars, well like two, like a Jimny and uh, that big Land Cruiser. And I thought that was really cool. And my little nephew is coming home soon. He said he was gonna be home around five. It's about 10 minutes till. I don't have any kids, so he's the closest I have to a little guy to bond with. And uh, I think he really likes me and I love him to death. So I really do wanna spend some time with him because I don't get enough time with him. So that's one reason we're gonna cut it short. 
and uh, we did get some cool stuff at the up garage I can't wait to show that to you in the up garage video that's what's going to be coming out next because I still can't really narrate anything because of the snows but I'm rambling on so let's go ahead and cut this video short if you liked it guys go ahead and do me a favor and like and share this video because that's really going to help me grow and that would mean a lot to me but if you want to do something for yourself and for some reason you have not subscribed yet go ahead and do that that always has been that always will be for you that's just so you can see the latest videos that are coming out from Japan. I promise my nose is not always stopped up and I don't always sound like this. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.